All right, what's poppin', man? You already know Mr. J. Hill I'm in the building. Uh, Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 65. Uh, this time is a little different. I know you guys have been looking like, man, where the fuck y'all guys been at? It's been three weeks. So I'm actually in the A. Um, I was like, I'm going to drop something because I don't want to have you guys keep waiting. I definitely appreciate all the supporters, all the fans, all the, 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 the subscribers, the people that, that watch this on a weekly basis. It's been a lot of people that have been like hitting the Gemini Scorpio podcast saying, yo, y'all should be doing this all every week and what's going on, what's going on, you know. He put too much pressure on it, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Listen, it's it's a real, it's a real relationship, real relationship podcast. You feel me? So look, uh <laughs> I wanna do I wanna do something different. I got my guys, I'm in the A. My guys is with me. I'm like, bro, let's just get some content out there. Let's do it for the Gemini Scorpio podcast, episode 65. I'm the Gemini, and we just got my guest here, my guy Lonnie in the building. I'm a Scorpio, so if that well, you makes actually you feel, so yeah. that Gemini makes you feel any, any better. There you go. Oh, uh, whoa, wait. Gemini, and he's a, cancer. he's a Cancer. I'm a Cancer. He's okay. like a crybaby of them all. Uh, <laughs> but what I heard was, what I heard was, Scorpios were Cancers with leather jackets on, whatever that means. What does that mean? Like, so are we? Uh, y'all sensitive where, as well, just the sensitive. Basically, but with a uh, leather jacket on, I guess. First off, ain't nobody sensitive. I'm just passionate. So you're not sensitive? I'm not sensitive. I'm, I'm the passionate. opposite of a, can- of, a, of a cancer, but I'm a cancer. That makes sense. <laughs> so how are you the opposite of a cancer? I'm the opposite of a cancer, but I'm a cancer. It's so what's like, the opposite of a cancer? I'm like, not emotional. Like, I don't get emotional. I don't do none of that shit. Like, Bro, you be, you be in your emotional bag. No, I don't be in my emotional bag. you never seen me in my emotional bag. Probably, all right. I'm emotional with a... I don't know. Just go. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to do something different. So I, I suppose I had somebody else on, and I thought the conversation would be really dope with us three and just the dynamic of the change with him. But now it's different. So I wanted to talk about like accountability and like relationship as men. Yeah. Like, what does that look like for you, for 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 both of you? Like, because it might look different. For it you. just to me, it's just when somebody fuck up, they they just. Can can say when that happens that you know what I'm saying they they also are somebody that you can count on you know in times of your need but mm. also be understanding though too because you know what I'm saying it's not every day ain't gonna be perfect like let's just say if you my accountability partner for drinking you know what I'm saying you got to be able to understand that it's hard to just stop drinking mm. so that's what accountability means to me is understanding too but specifically as men though in relationships like how did like give me an example. I don't, I'm just just curious. Like, what does accountability look like to you in a relationship as a man? Um, accountability as a relationship to me. I mean, it's hard for me to actually go into this this conversation because I'm not really a relationship guy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been in a lot of relationships. What type of guy are you, dog? Let the people know. No, 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 no. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Everybody know I'm a nice guy with a good heart. Right? Oh, what does that look like? Dude, are you saying you get played a lot? Like the hoes don't take you serious? Oh, oh, you, no, no, no. Oh, you're a player. Me. Ain't nobody playing. Or, oh, you, you the one. <laughs> so you the one that's not ready to ever settle down. I'm a little toxic. I'm a little toxic. But I am ready to settle down, but she got to be a queen. She got to be up to par and, you know, what's going on in my... In so my... why would you be dealing with anybody other than a queen? Like, why would you deal with anything else other than a queen? <laughs> well, that's shit. A whole First off, what's a queen to you? That's, we Dude, that, that's a whole never conversation. What's a queen to you? A queen is somebody who, you know, who know her worth. You know, who stand who stand ground on, you know what I'm saying, what's what's real and who just keep it one hundred. That's a queen to me. So you're telling me like uh what in today's society, right, what we call them thoughts, a thought can't be a queen because she could know her worth. No, everybody's queen. So let's change that because I call everybody queen. So if you see me in the street, I'm gonna say, Hey, how you doing, Queen? Don't mean she's not a thought. She might still be a thought, but <laughs> how you doing queen? She a queen thought. That's okay. Like she could just be a thought queen, a queen thought. You know what I mean? Like Hey, put that on a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I, it's hard for me to really go into the accountability thing because, like, I haven't been in many situations when I had to be, you know, had someone that had to be accountable for her actions. You know what I'm saying? Do you think it's hard for men to take accountability in, like, in whatever we're doing? And just, I was, it don't have to be in relationships, like, just period. Do you think it's hard for men to take accountability? I think in certain situations, yeah. Like what? Like, I think when it comes to men being vulnerable and kind of saying they fucked up it with, with sometimes a girl or around their boys, maybe it's different for everybody. I'm just saying, I think that. No, I mean, as, areas. as I got older, like I realized, like I have looked back at some relationships, like damn, I fucked up. Mm, like I, I wish I would have did this differently. You know what I'm saying? But 
You know what I mean? So I guess that's me taking accountability after the fact. After the fact. Yeah. You know what I mean? But not right then. And then what are some of the things you did that you probably <laughs> so, could have changed? I mean, like, um, it's, been, it's been some good girls I've had in my life. You know what I mean? But I didn't took them for granted. You know, not really a, like, it could just been me. Like, maturity level, like, not really being ready to be in a relationship. Like, you know, so I took them for granted. And they probably was good, great girls. You know mm. what I mean? But I passed them up. Sometimes I pass girls up because... You know, I might want the girl who I know that's not good, but she a little hard to get, so that make me want her even more. Mm. I think, you know... That uh, nigga sound like a Rod Wave song. You <laughs> <laughs> might start singing. I think... I think uh, I would like to believe I'm really good at taking accountability. You know what I'm saying? Like, Or even if it's not accountability, what I will say is that at, at, at bare minimum, I'm able to acknowledge my fuck up, right? I think, you know, it definitely got to... I got to work more on... Um, taking responsibility for it, if that makes sense. Like uh, changing my action because you know a lot of times you can apologize a thousand times, but the best apology is change behavior, right? right. Actually, so I speak louder than words, right? So I think for me, I'm good at acknowledging what I did, right? But I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying like I, I'm just trying to take, be fair. but taking responsibility is part of taking accountability though for it. Mm. So you you only taking part of the accountability if you only saying like I can acknowledge that, but I'm not taking responsibility. That kind of go hand in hand. I mean, but I'd rather be 50 than zero. Yeah, what I'm saying is, is you're all the way accountable or you're not accountable. It's not a thing like, just I'm because I do this and this is one component of taking accountability that I'm at least 50% accountable. It's, no, it don't work like that. It's right. like either you are or you aren't. So I think, I think that's true. But however, I feel like it both can coexist because I, I believe the first, step to, the first step to recovery is acknowledging that you have a problem. Like the, the first way you can get help is understanding that you need help. So if I'm if I can acknowledge that okay this is a problem, now I need to go get help from the problem. But at least I can acknowledge that this is a problem. I feel like what's frustrating for me is when someone can't even acknowledge that it's a problem. And I think that's when I changed my my like persona on like how I'm going to carry females because it's like at first I started on a, a stage where it was like all right this shit is getting too easy like mm. this shit is just getting bad like you know what I'm saying like it's to the point where like it's pointless like is that you ever had like Sex when you like you having sex and it's just like afterwards it's like why did I just do that? You know what I mean? Like like I like, mean, why well, did I just, why did I just, so that's when I take accountability. And I I really think and be like, damn, I should never. Like I gotta start moving different. But that's then you growth. go do it again. That's growth. That's not growth, growth if you go do it again, is it? If, if he if he if that's not saying he didn't grow because niggas be backsliding. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's not saying he didn't grow because he still got the experience and the knowledge. So his fifty fifty accountability is okay. No, because no, 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 I really I, understood. I just something. want y'all to understand. <laughs> If you got, okay, let's take it like this. Kool-Aid, right? Mm -hmm. What does it take to make Kool-Aid? Water, sugar, and flavor, and the Kool -Aid, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you don't have the sugar, then it's what not do you Kool-Aid. Not, well, no, exactly. that's not, no, no, that's not true. It's, because it's if you have water now. No, if you have the Kool-Aid packet and the water is, Kool-Aid is just not as sweet. Okay. If you okay, have the Kool-Aid packet in the water, it's Kool-Aid. It's just not but sweet. What I'm saying is it's flavored water. It's not, nah, it's it's not Kool the Kool-Aid we... Uh, because it's Kool-Aid. <laughs> it's not it's our Kool-Aid. Kool we don't call it Kool-Aid. No, it's... But Kool-Aid is, Kool Kool is just the brand. Yeah. And I was associated with black people. We know that we be making that brand, <laughs> nigga. That's Fact. what I was trying to say. Fact. It's just not sweet. But what I'm saying is, it's, it's not... Okay, yeah, take that out of it. But what to black people, that's not Kool-Aid. It, it would just be flavored water. So right. you, with accountability, you can't say I have this, but not that, because it's not accountability. So you mean it's something my accountability? I can tell you when I'm wrong. Okay, so my that's accountability it. has to be perfect. No, 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 I'm saying to be able to say that you're fully accountable. I never said I was you're, fully accountable. To be accountable, not I, fully. Now take the fully out. To say you're <laughs> an accountable person, <laughs> you have to have both of these components. <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm no, no, it's okay. You can say it. If you think I'm, I'm wrong, just, you no, can no, no. say it. I'm just saying it takes two things bro. in it. You okay? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> breaking this down further. That's all I'm just trying to do. No, no, you need to give him a drink. You need to give him a drink. Yeah, because you... I ain't about to do shit with it. <laughs> oh, I do got some water over there. Damn. Damn, that cup for us. It's cool. But yeah, so I think, you know, actually, so when it comes to men, I can't speak for all men, but, you know, I, the one thing I can say for me, I am able to acknowledge that is a problem that I've done, right? And I think that, I don't know if that's for all men. And one thing I do like to do is, um, I guess, I got this thing where I want joint accountability, right? And I think that's where I fuck up, right? So it's like, yo, yeah, I did something, but I want you to acknowledge my feelings of why I did it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that might be wrong. But that's like apologizing, but still saying the person is wrong. Like, it's like saying, like, 
I'm sorry for doing this, but I did this because you did it. Mm. You know what Fact, I mean? Like, that's what that is. That's like saying hey, like, hey, I'm going to just take things I'm up so- a notch. Let's just, everybody say the most fucked up thing that they could think they did to a female. The most Let's just be up, real with it. Let's, the, the most fucked up thing that we remember. You ain't got to say names, but just give the situation the most fucked up thing you've done to a female. What so the mo- so I don't... All right. This Did is you weird. Your experience. This is weird because I, we ain't no I've done some fucked up things. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nigga. I'm going to be real. I'm a, I'm a guy. Yeah, we all But are. I think one of the most the, one of the most fucked up things I've done was I was single at the time, but I was still dealing with an ex, right? And... She hit me. She's like, yo, I'm about to come over. I'm like, I'm not home, but I'm, I'm home, right? I had this chick drive from Virginia to link me, right? So, like, she linked me, and we did what we was doing. But my ex popped up, climbed through my window, and fought the chick that drove from Virginia. So, shorty think I set her up. whole time I did it, I'm just trying, I'm trying to get some single box and, like, my ex is blocking for real. Right. I say that's the fucked up thing is because it's like um, she drove all the way from Virginia and I would hate to feel alone Damn. in a situation like that. But it's, I mean, got, it's been probably, some. She probably feel fucked up. It's like, been some oh. other things. It's. I mean, I feel like niggas then. We done, I done fucked up a lot. No, no, no. I know. I know. That's why we're talking about it. What's, what's, we're taking accountability. Okay. What's, what's, <laughs> what's the most fucked up thing? And don't uh, leave me on a, on, a, on a ledge by myself. No, no, no. You good, my boy. Uh, the most fucked up thing. I done done a lot of fucked up shit. I didn't. This is fucked up. I didn't. This is I, toxic. This whole thing is just toxic. No, no, bro. no. This is healing. What is going on? This, this whole thing healing. is toxic. No, you gotta talk about it. It's okay. It's, I, I guarantee it's gonna be other people that be like, "Damn, the most fucked up thing I ever did was this." And you are gonna be like, "Oh, wait, well, hold on. This shit's like, worse." Yeah, like, right. <laughs> that don't make it no better though. Females got <laughs> shit too. I, females got stories for days. Anyway, um, the most one of the most fucked up things I ever did was I had I had planned to have a have a, a threesome with my girl. Mm. She flew in. She was going to a school out of state, HBCU though. She flew in. Another girl came into town from another college. We had already did the tango, mm-hmm. uh, the three of us. So it was just trying to set it up again. So uh, the girl that comes from, let's just say West Coast, not my girl, obviously. She come in, she bring her cousin. Her mm-hmm. cousin, dumb fine. So I'm already trying to get on. Mm-hmm. But I'm being hot. Like, because we already know what it is. I'm just trying to see if the cousin in on it too. Right. Anyway, uh, the girl from the West Coast, she get too drunk first. I'm like, fuck, I'm out of here. There's also a fifth, there's also another girl that's there. Damn. So... That's just to add context. But anyway, so we, we sitting there. My, uh, the girl from the West Coast, she get drunk. And I'm like, damn, I'm over here losing. But I see that my girl is kind of making a little friends with the fifth girl. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, maybe I can still pull through strong. But the girl, not, the fifth girl, not really going. She not really going for the, for, the, for the threesome. So it's five girls in here. That's not a threesome anymore. It's like a six. So, and, and then the other girl, the cousin... Take her out of the equation. Okay. My boy got okay. Her. I okay. Was being okay. Hot. I was just doing for context. So, um, uh, so it's not really going. So my girl is getting progressively drunk. Mm. So I see this going downhill, and I'm like, ah, I kind of got to like make my move if I'm gonna get anything tonight. But my girl was like already like on some weird shit. Like she wasn't really trying to, to fuck. So I'm like, all right, let me just go ahead and put her to bed. So, um. Put her, like, put her to bed. I'm pretty sure we had sex. I'm pretty sure we had sex. Me and my girl, just alone. The other girl was passed out in my bed, but I got a futon in my room. Uh-huh. So, put my girl to sleep, because she drunk. It's over with. That's what it was. That's what it was. We were about to have sex, and you know, when your girl too drunk, it's just over. Okay. You just feel like rape, and you just be like, yeah, this shit. So, you put her to sleep, and... So, I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm waiting the for the... The fifth girl. Wait. The fifth girl still awake. She's, she's like, live, <laughs> part of the party. We in a little sweet condo, like, in, in school. So when you come out of your room, you know, it's like a common living area in the dorm. So you cheated on your girlfriend I'm while she was point. in the same room. <laughs> so so my girl, my girl knocked the fuck out. And I, I bring old girl in there and I'm straight, you know, straight talking to her with the whoopties. And then I, I, I smashed that while my girl was passed out. That's in, fucked. In another room. This is while both bad. Of the girls that I was supposed this to. ain't a good podcast already. Like, what the fuck? No, no, no. no. What, what's the worst down, thing you did? The worst thing I did, I remember it. I was, <laughs> oh, he was in co- I was in college. He had all that time. I was in college. 
um, I had a, I had a girlfriend, you know, in college, and I was also talking to one of her friends. It was her close friends. They was like line sisters. You can, you can say that, all right. So they was like, you know, talking. They was like together, and you know what I'm saying. They was always together, and I was talking to both of them heavy though, and they didn't really know, but they knew. Mm. So it was Valentine's Day, and I did like a double Valentine's Day. Like so, in the daytime, I went with my girl, and I did her. You know, I went to the restaurant, <laughs> took her out and everything, and, and shattered her with everything. And, okay. And in the morning, then I told her like, I had excuse. I had to do something at night. I went with the other girl at night. When I'm in the other girl in my house. You know, my other girl, my first pulled up, and when they got there, it was just like a weird, like weird situation. But I really expressed the way I felt about both of them right there in their face. Oh, y'all some wild niggas. Let me ask you this: since we talking about threesomes, right? Do you think that it's important, or it's imperative, for the girl that you with to be open for threesomes? If that's important to you, mm. yeah, yeah. It's you not really I mean? big to me. I mean, it's not really big for me. You know, if I really make a, a commitment to say I want a girl to be my girl, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, then I really don't care. If she want to do that, we can do that. You know, I'm optimistic to anything, but I'm not pressed to ask my girl, yo, I need a threesome. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I'm not yeah. geeking for that, for real. Threesomes be a lot of work, too. Why? Nigga, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot, a lot of, of like, if you're, if you, like, if you actually a nigga who actually is about pleasing both girls, uh -huh. it's just a lot of work, G. I it's feel like- work you take a motherfucking thing of honey. Or if you, if you take, take a Paparano, you be like, right. <laughs> say, like, you can have the honey if that's what you went to. Take that and some Genesis. Yeah, some no, Genesis no, really hot. Hell but no. Knock that motherfucker out the park. Honestly, so I think, uh, I don't think it's a lot of work because I feel like you got to play your, you got to play it right. So if you're having a threesome, especially if you have a girl, girls are sensitive. Men are sensitive as well. So it's like, we got to be mindful of our girl, right? So if you're having a threesome, you definitely want to put more effort and more energy into your woman, I think. You know what I'm saying? And like show her like, yeah, you still pleasing the other girl, but you're my girl and I'm still letting you know nah, that. Nah, if my that girl bring a girl in, if, I can't do that. Because what if, what if the other girl got a better box? What if the other girl got a better box? You're not box supposed to, your, your no, girlfriend no, should no, never know that. Yeah. How? If, if, if I come in a room, if I, right, I have a threesome, my girl give me some little weak ass head that she gave me for five years. No, she, no, 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 no. That's your girl need to take accountability. That's her <laughs> fault for putting her in that weak ass position. <laughs> First off, if there's ever a girl that can that can but that can do something to hurt her nigga better than she can, she should feel embarrassed. That's some her fault. girls don't want to show out like that. Yeah, some, no, 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 some no that's her fault. Sweet, some girls think it's sweet, like, fault. oh, I'm about to come here, I'm about to fuck my nigga, and I'm, you know, I got a little girl for him and shit. We gonna have a little fun. She come in there, give me the little same little weak ass head. That's her fault. And the other girl come that's on, her and she gave she me the wildin'. fucking. The wildest that is her. The Wop Wop 2000. I'm talking about knock my socks off. My socks is on over there. My yeah. socks already over there. They already on the bed. I'm like, yeah. I'm looking at my girl like, yo, you wild. Like, get the fuck off me. Like, I don't even want you on me no more because she's wilding right now. Like, like how, I feel like sex. That's your, I honestly that's feel like, I feel like sex is, I feel like acting is a part of sex, honestly. So, as a, I know men got these egos Maybe. and Either you want to act like or we stage this play and acting. that, but I honestly feel like Acting is a part of sex, and if you're not a good actor, then honestly, it's going to take away from your sex. So that's just me personally. I don't so agree. So as a man, no. What are we saying? Man, like there's stage so like, play actors, and then there's movie no, actors. So no, so no. feels fucking, fake. Right, if we're having sex, right? I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I love when girls moan. I love that. Like it does the moan yeah. does something to me. So again, if you're not a girl that moans, but you know your gal likes moaning, you better get some acting on. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like I just. That's just my like. That's me. I, that's me. I call that the dead chicken, though. I don't like no dead chickens. All right, dead, lay on your back and just sit there like, come on, let's do it. Like, no. And I don't like the motherfucking... But some no. girls some girls are not moaners, though. No, I'm I mean, not, some I'm girls not even. Moaners. I'm not even... No, nigga, I be in here touching bitches' souls. You're not about to fake moan with right. me at all. But yo, see, that's the ego thing, I think, because a lot no, of no, times... No, 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 no. I'm bro, just saying, like... Girls, you can fuck a girl really good. I'm just saying I'm not fucking with any kind of girl no more. This is a chemistry thing. Sex okay, is a chemistry okay, thing. Okay. So she if, if she, she got to act, we don't, don't have chemistry. But but I, I really feel, feel that. like I really... So honestly, again, we're men talking about this. So we really, I re we really don't know. I'm saying from my perspective, I think acting, it don't have to be 100%, but I think acting is a part of sex. Like you got to... You got to play that, 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 that position and play it right. As a woman, as a man, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you might not be getting the best head, but, you know, I'm going to make you feel good. Look, for me, I, I get what I'm, you're saying. I'm not yes. 40 years old, so I'm not acting for nobody. I'm a young nigga. If your pussy ain't up the part, I'm going to tell you, baby, this ain't it. I don't think you would tell your girlfriend that. If my girlfriend pussy is not up the part, she wouldn't be my girlfriend. 
That part. Mm. That part. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't give a fuck. A lot of people say that <laughs> sex don't matter. <coughs> it does. Yeah. Sex matters. It's one of the top five reasons why people get divorced. No, it's definitely it's intimacy. Matter. So let me ask you, let me, yes, so let me ask you something, right? When it comes to relationships, since we're having this conversation, right? This is something that I was like, I wasn't, I was really hesitant about. Do you, do you treat your girl like you treat your hoes when you're having sex? Yeah, you got to. I, I don't, just got into that. Though. Yeah, it's I don't. I, that's never been my thing. Yeah, it's hard. But I think it's hard. Girls love that yeah, shit. Yeah, like no, I feel like your girlfriend love to that. tweet that. Just like, oh my god, my nigga shredded me out. They love just to, for the notoriety. I, I never. See, I see, see, my, my, pro- my problem is that why well, I had to stop and lay down off just fucking everything because I treat everything the same. I fuck everybody right. with a ten. Right. So I had to stop. I had to say, look, yeah. I'm gonna stop back. I'm gonna stop fucking everything because when I fuck, I. F- I'm going all in. You know right. what I'm saying? So I had to lay back and say, I'm not going to just fuck everything because I don't dick. know how to give half four dick. dick. Half dick. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know my name going around saying that nigga got a, that nigga gave me some weak ass dick. Uh, so he don't want a bad dick. Nah, but, 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 but I think, you know, like in a relationship, like you're fucking hopefully all the time. So it's like sometimes you get complacent or whatever it can be. But, you know, like for, for me, when I was single, I feel like I wasn't really fucking every day one time. I mean, I wasn't fucking every day, number one. So, like, when I was fucking the girls I was fucking, it was like, you feel me? But it and, 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 and Yeah, and it's like, yo, like, I'm never going to see you. Like, you don't care. I don't care. That's why I love, right? My girl is like, I see you as my princess, my, like, my queen. Like, I see you as this, this trophy. So, it's like, I don't want to violate you in a sense. You know what I'm saying? But I, like you said, I feel like girls love that shit. They want to get violated. Girls want to get violated. Uh, they want to. Like, man. as much as you, you can love a girl. I know that now. Like, as a girl in the room, just yes or no, do girls like to get slutted out by their man? Clearly, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I'm not against. I clearly know what I'm just saying. That's something that I just got into that I just, I never was like. Because guess what? Yeah. If you don't do it, another nigga will. Another one nigga will. Yeah. Right. If you don't butter them bitches the right way. No. Yo, speaking of speaking that, as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a guy. As a guy that get girls, right, and all of us, I think this is, I think one of my my scariest moments of having a girlfriend is knowing what I did to girls that had boyfriends, and I feel like that that's what scares me the most in, in a relationship because it's like, yo, I've been that guy looking at the girl get called by her boyfriend, dubbing this nigga, saying this nigga getting on my nerves, and I'm just. Fucking her, and I'm like, now it's like that for me is the most scary. It's the scariest part because it's like, oh, and I think I think that's why I'm not in a relationship because I got PTSD. That's what it's. I about. got PTSD. Like, I've seen so much shit. Like, how can we really like how as men that that have that that done that right? And I think that's nobody's fault really, right? Like, I just feel like it's a part of our society, and it's like that's things that we got to teach our sons or whatever. Like, because that's not even cool. Like, because karma is real. Like, you shouldn't be fucking other niggas' girlfriends. It, just, it is what it is. It was cool to us, but it's not really cool, right? I think, whatever. Anyway, I, I'm going to ask you, like, how, like, how is that as a man that done that, right? Like, could you, Fuck that, do you think girl? that takes away from the love part, if, if anything? Like, does it, do you be more reserved? What, you saying? Like, because you've been that guy fucking a girl while she had a boyfriend. Do you think you don't love the same or you're not giving as much love to your girl because you're scared of that or no? No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I just know both sides of the hurt now, so I take it a lot more serious. Mm. But it's also a thing. I also believe this: if another nigga has the ability to fuck my bitch, that was never my bitch. No, facts. I mean, of course. So, so I just, I just live with that though. So I don't, I don't. But that shit like, sound good until your bitch get fucked. Like that shit yeah, sound yeah, good. Yeah, like no, no, if another nigga no, no, fuck no, my bitch, no, 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 like, I understand. But that's just, it's just, it's just something that I hold near and dear to me. And no, no girl. Like when it happened, I knew that I had lost her, and I had to let that go. And it's, and it's like with me, like I don't really even like think. If you think about that, then you're never going to be in a relationship. You're right. Never yeah, gonna you always have trust issues. You say okay. that though, right? I, I feel like you say that, but PTSD is real. Like for example, yeah. like our, our troops that come home from fighting for the country, right? They're not thinking about, they're not intentionally thinking about uh, a, a loud noise being a gunshot, but when it happens, it's a trigger. And I feel like we don't have these conversations of triggers. And even th- when we do have these conversations, I feel like as humans, we're not understanding enough. It's like, okay, well, you need to fix your trigger. And, and it's not like, how can we fix this together? I feel like a lot of times we think as individuals in relationships, and that's where they go wrong. So like, like you said, like, you're not thinking about it, but 
I don't want to think about it. Like, I don't want that to be on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to look at you like that. But again, because I did what I did, when I see these things that look similar to what I did, is a trigger for me. And it's like, man, that's scary. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, I understand the fact that I know that this is an evil world. It's treacherous out here. It's tr- it dangerous. is really treacherous out here. Like, People wake up and choose violence every day. It is really a treacherous, evil world. And with, I, with me knowing that it's an evil world, I just, like, I don't put nothing past nobody. Mm. You know, I don't put nothing past nobody. Like, my, my girl go to Miami for the weekend, or she go to fucking Cali for the weekend, or she in Jamaica with her friends. Like, I never, I'm not thinking that she might not be getting fucked. You know what I'm saying? But that's be. not, is that not taken away from the, the, the genuine love, though? If you I not putting it past it? Like, I would, I would want to not put that. I wouldn't want to think that about my girl. Like, Did it's more so the energy for me. Like, if you come home and your energy is still the same, everything's still the same, then we're good. You well, know some I mean? girls are really good actors. We talking about actors. It, it always will come out. Energy never lies. It always will come out at some point. You right. know what I mean? So at this point, she might come home the first day and it might be regular, but mm. the next week or the next month, it might be different. You know, it might be different. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to come out. At some point in time, it's going to come out. You can never just fake the funk for so long. You know what I mean? Let me ask you this, bro. You got a lot of followers. You got a lot of followers. I got a lot of followers. Um, this Quavo and Sweetie thing, right? So, like, uh-huh. we saw how I, I think a lot of people, we're not even going to like what happened and things like that. I, I wanted to talk about it from a, a personality, not a personality, but like an influencer aspect, right? So, I seen a tweet going around like people saying that rappers need to put these, these girls on like a contract or because a lot of times what happens, you get, in, you get in a relationship with a girl, you give her a lot of followers, you give her all this clout, and then she leave with more than what she came into. And it's like, you just gave her all this. Do you, do you, do you ever feel that, that way? Like you giving a girl more than what she had coming into the relationship? Yeah, I always do. Do you I ever? I purposely do that, though. I, like, I've, I've, I've only always elevated a woman. Do you, I mean, of course. But do you think it should be like, a, like some, something in place, like a contract or something? Like, I feel like... That's kind of. Uh, I, I see what you mean, but nah, nah, because I, I just nah, nah, nah. I, I see what you mean, but nah, I wouldn't. So you you okay with just giving this girl all this clout and? Um, that's just that's just. Do you that's think just, that's, just, that's just more baller than me? That's just right. more baller. The fact that I made a, I I made a bitch famous. <laughs> that's just sound good as hell. And she knows. Chris Brown said I can but, make a broke bitch rich. But I feel like she's never. But I don't fuck with broke bitches. What? She's, that's how much money he has. She's never gonna. She's never gonna admit that. She's never gonna be like, yeah, he made me lit. But you know the truth. What does the truth matter to a stranger? Mm. It only matters to you. You know Ooh. it. At the end of the day, you're going to be lit regardless. So yeah. after that, you're still going to be lit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Do y'all think Quavo made Sweetie more lit? I think she, I think he did, for sure. We were talking about this shit earlier. I, was, I think she did. Like She was like a popcorn rap. She was nothing. She was just like I think it, I, I think it low-key went both ways, though. For real? Because she's cold. Oh. She's bad. And I nah, think she's fire. Yeah, but I think I think I think more women start looking at Quavo differently. Right. Like 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 Quavo's fan base changed a little bit. Like Quavo had niggas, but now he got he got some women too. It, it's just it's different. I don't it's know because like I still look at Quavo as being Quavo. Yeah, you do. Now but if he I'm was saying sp- like think about he crossing over into different markets. But, yeah. I don't know. You I don't know. Think, so it's some niggas that change. Like for example, Jay Z when he got Beyonce. And Meek Mill when he got Nicki Minaj. But Quavo and Sweetie, I never looked at it like, oh my God, he fuck with Sweetie. Yeah, the only Migo that I think that uh, changed was Offset. Oh, Offset, yeah. be- Offset became Easy. The- Offset became the lead Migo. Yeah. He really <laughs> surpassed Quavo. Like, no, Quavo wasn't no. the lead Migo. But the, but the type of girl you got definitely matters. So, like, if, if you got, I mean, granted, Gr- Gr- Sweetie looks good. That's not, I'm not trying to take nothing away from her. But I don't think it was like a level up. Like, when Offset got with, Cardi B okay. is like, Okay, damn. this is the only way I can think to explain it, right? I had a lot of followers by myself. Right. When I started posting my relationship, oh, yeah, definitely my was. followers went up. I got bad bitches that be following me now, and they be seeing the shit that I do. Bitches be paying attention. Yeah. Bitches be flirting with me now. So what I'm saying is, I already had nigga followers. Mm. Now I got bitches looking right. at me. So I, she elevated me in a way. However, I always brought more to her. We said earlier, a, 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 cool. No, what you saying? I was saying like a, a pretty female or any any female, like a female that's that's golden will elevate any man. I feel like now, nah, of course. I think you know, like even my platform, like my numbers skyrocketed. Like as soon as I started posting pictures with my girl, like 
even with the family, I'm like, I might just turn this into a, like a family Instagram because like yeah. my shit just start going crazy. That's what I'm saying. But think if you would have kept on the path that you were without that, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, have gotten yeah. exposed to that. But I think I feel like also girls gotta like uh they gotta they gotta stop playing with us though. You know what I'm saying? Cause like if you got a girl, you gotta understand, like if you're a faithful nigga, you got girls flocking. I feel like girls don't be saying that. Girls really don't be thinking that. Like you be like, they the prize all the time. Like, nah, I'm the prize too. Don't play with me. Like, yeah. Like, don't get it fucked up. Like, Heart. I'm faithful. Like, have you ever realized, I don't know if y'all ever paid attention to this, but girls won't talk to their girlfriends about how good their boyfriend dick is. They won't do it because the girl will start to want the dick. They they purposely they like it depends. I don't on the girl. know. It depends on the that girl, true? but you're not gonna brag like girl, this nigga did X. You're not gonna always say all of that because women know how they I think. understand the theory, but that theory to me is kind of like the same as saying a girl is not gonna buy a nigga shoes because he's gonna walk out of his, her life. But I just like I understand the theory, but I don't think it's necessarily true. It's just, I'm like, it's girls just, certain she said it's not true. She keep, shook her head like it's not true. She said it's not true. It's just man? it's just that girls will keep certain parts. From certain girls, secret. I mean, if you know, yeah. Like, if you know, like, it, it's, it's, I can only but I think, explain it. I don't think people really actually think about it. But I think girls in general keep only parts of only things secret because that's just women. Honestly, they promiscuous. I'm trying to be. Fair. What is that? That's a big ass word. I don't even know the fuck <laughs> okay. that is. She's like, she don't like that. Like promiscuous. It's like I don't want to say sneaky, but it's, it's like. Let's look it up. It's, it's like. Sneaky. Promiscuous is often tied with like hoish, it, but it doesn't have to be a hoish like that. It's like how they move is kind of little. Yeah, you I'm not spelling shit. It. I try to look it up. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna call some I'm gonna call some egos. Y'all use some big ass words. I, I just don't. don't. That's, that's, like, that's usually don't. me. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that word is. But anyway, I feel like so 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 just real quick. Like your your closest homegirl, like you're willing to tell her the most intimate parts of y'all sexual relationship. If this nigga touches your soul, person. Trust the girl. But so, it, do you trust your your best girlfriend, your 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 closest girlfriend? But she's a different type of girl too. Like we can't ignore that. No, no, no. But, I mean, yes, yes. But it also <laughs> like is there something that, <laughs> what you, was that? Is she knew what I was saying. What the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> she's a, I'm 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 she's a different type of girl. What? Well, I feel like she understood exactly. She didn't. No, she, yeah, what's yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, what the, yeah. She didn't what the fuck. She understood exactly what I was saying. Okay. No, what yeah. the fuck was that? So you, you ain't understand exactly what I was saying, no? No. Okay, whatever. No. Hey, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what you was what? on. That was... But what? But what I'm saying? But what? But I'm, it's, what I'm I really feel like asking the is the shit she might talk about is. But I'm saying is there's always there's something. That the girl will keep away from the best friend. Yeah, but I feel like that's a woman whatever in general. it is. Yeah, yeah. So that's the point that I'm trying to make. But not just like sex. Though. Yeah, it don't have to always be sex. But sex is usually the thing. If a nigga is really slinging dick, it be girls in relationship with niggas who ain't really slinging dick though. Ah, it could be so many other things. You know bro. how many stories we've heard of niggas fucking other girls' best friends? How did that happen? Because the girl clearly was telling the best friend. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why people don't do it. Because. But that's why people clearly do it because so niggas is so many people. Would you that tell me, it. would you be comfortable telling me your girl, you and your girl sex, describing your girl to me? As a man? Yes. That's different from as a woman. But I'm saying it's something that you don't want to do because you as don't, a want, man, me, you don't want me visualizing that. Yes, but girl. I don't think women think that Women way. be having that too. It's always something. Everybody has the thing, yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I feel that. I feel but women don't be also talking about sex. If a nigga's really slinging dick, a lot of niggas don't be slinging dick. Niggas be just paying for shit. <laughs> like, that's the difference. What's, so what's, what's, what, what, what do you think is slinging dick? You know when a nigga's slinging dick because he so got your girl dick. doing stupid shit. She like doing what? dumb I, shit. Like Girls do dumb shit all the time. That's what I'm saying. Like, like if a, if you see your homeboy riding around in his bitch car all the time, then he's slinging dick. He's slinging mad dick. Shit that like or oh, she probably just love a nigga and um, she just want him to do good. Ari and money back, yo be she do this shit like like she posts on his Instagram like thank you for that dick that you gave me. Like it's just yeah, that's, that's, you would that's different. Like, that's different. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's like, different. Like, <laughs> but she's a different type of girl. Yes. So what I'm saying is anytime you see, you see these things, you see these things. I can only say to that. What is the it different type of that girl? He said this because what the, is the different type of girl? What is that? What is that? I know what he's talking about, but the people don't know what he's talking about. But you understand, I, like I, I, 
You understand that you caught him in the moment of some I'm shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, so some things a lot of girls are into. Other things is a few girls that's into. That's all I'm saying. That's a different type of girl. No? Is that not true? So what are you trying yeah, to say, man. though? No, I'm just, again, some things a lot of girls are into. Other things, it's not a lot of girls that's into it. No? Am I not telling the truth? Yeah. Do, you think it's, do you think it's more or less females doing what you do? Probably less. <laughs> that's what, what you do. Yeah, I mean, all right, so your job, your job, your job. All right, so no, no, you can't. Your, your job. Wait, right? I was hold on. Be, I was trying to be this <laughs> yeah, okay. like, damn. So, no. so, all right, so we're going to, we're going to girl job. So bartenders and strippers can't be wives? I never said they could. Wait, I never said a bartender or a stripper couldn't be a wife. I just said it's, she's a different type of girl because, again, I feel like even, yeah. for example. But no. that's like, what he was saying. So, he was saying, what do you mean different type of girl? No. But so, all right, so, so, so I mean, can we, can we go into that conversation? Uh-oh. Let me tell you what I think about strippers and, 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 and girls who. Tell me the, the question that nobody that asked. Girls who stripper, <laughs> even girls who trick, who sell that pussy. Okay. I think they are more clean than motherfucking regular girls. Why? So, well, no, no, you why? can say regular girl, but I can't say a different type of girl? What's why? a regular girl? The, the regular girls you talk about, the words that you're speaking of. Why so, so, so they gotta be regular. Why? Let me tell you why. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because the strippers, the motherfucking girls who trick, the girls who in the clubs and shit, that's their job. So they gotta make sure that pussy is clean. But there's a lot of girls that's in the club no, no, dirty no, no, and no, no, shit. No, 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 no. Pussy smelling no, 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 like no, no, fucking no, 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 no. No, no, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why that won't happen. Because if they go in there smelling like fishy shit, they go, all the girls So you mean to tell me you don't think it's some bitches in a strip club who's thinking you gotta be dumb? No, all the girls. stupid. All the girls will cuss them out. All the girls will go on them. They will not want to come back. It depends on the strip club. It depends on the strip club. He depends on the strip club. He depends on the strip club. So none of the bitches stink in the locker room in the strip club? Bitches don't play. Let me I tell you, bitches be smelling like, like they smell a, like fish when they know, come from us. And a bitch, and a bitch, who, a a bitch who's selling pussy, she gonna make sure that you put a condom on. A regular bitch will lay down with this nigga, that nigga, and that nigga, and say, "Oh, I'm feeling it, so let's just fuck." Then they don't care. Facts. Now, bitch, be like, it "I'm allergic." But these bitches, these bitches, these feet. I'm sorry. Let me stop calling these bitches. You're queen. <laughs> Let me stop <laughs> calling these bitches. <laughs> so you're you're queen. Oh, you're queen. Sorry. So these queens who really have jobs that. Are dealing with their vagina, <laughs> they do not play about their vagina. The that's, their, that's their job. So at the end of the day, they're gonna make sure that it's clean. They're gonna make sure they don't play about it. They're gonna make sure that a nigga put a condom on. They're gonna make sure everything. They, they, when a nigga about to fuck, oh, shit, hey, hey, hey. Your condom? Let me let me holler at you some real quick. Let me let me talk to you real quick, sir. I, I, I appreciate it. I love the fact that you think that. Honestly. But every girl ain't the same. Let me say why. Because it's, yo, you know, our job is a job, right? You would think. Somebody in general, not even a woman or a man, you would think somebody in general would take that job serious because they got to pay their bills, but they don't take that job serious all the time. Yes, so I'm telling you. So you tell everybody take You never met a real girl who want to run. It just, it just matters the quality of the strip club. Right. That's all, That's I'm all it is. That's so we it. can't really have that argument because of Because if it's a low end strip club, club they prob- some of them probably don't do the same thing that she's saying. However, like, these Some these, strippers are fucking. But understand most who, Atlanta strip clubs, no, 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 girls going to be. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they take that shit more serious than a regular girl. A regular girl will lay up with four different niggas and not and not give a fuck. Yeah, four I days agree. in a row. And not give a fuck because at the end of the day, that's just what that's what they live. They don't care. They just they just okay, it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm finna move right now. This is how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> it's, it's the vibes. Yeah, it's, it's, the vibes. The energy, it's the energy. The vibes. energy is getting the energy. I, I, I forgot about the conversation. Hey, the hey, hey, so let me ask y'all some real nigga shit though, real quick. Real quick. Um, hey, y'all ever pay for some pussy? I paid for some pussy. I haven't, like but said, wait, said, wait, 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 no, no, wait, no, 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 time out, time out, yeah, of course I paid for pussy. I paid for some pussy. I, I, no, no, I, I, no, probably, no. Haven't, I probably haven't paid like, no, no, no. hey, here's $40. No, 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 I'm talking about pay for the $40? pussy. $40? $40? What no, about no, that's no, how much no, pussy no, costs? Not, not, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold then you go to DR that's and not, how much the pussy costs. That's not dumb wild. I'm not even going to hold y'all. That's not they dumb wild. They cook for you and everything I heard. That's not dumb wild. How did you give it to her? Was it like this? <laughs> was it like this? No, that's not dumb wild. Oh, was it like, did you bring it from the side and like hand it to her like this? No, oh, was it like... <laughs> like hey, oh, man. You gave me it probably, it probably, it probably, no, me, so me, so me, it probably was like... Out the wallet? So, wow. Cash oh, transactions like, only. Now, <laughs> now, honestly, it probably was like, what's your cash app? That's that's really bad. You cash out somebody $40, they can go to hell. For real. You go to hell. You cash out somebody $40, you can go right to fucking hell. I mean, but now, so I feel like if that's a price, I mean, it's just a price. To ask, to ask you a question, I think we all pay for pussy, but to pay for it like that, I'm I saying have it. Right out front. However, as, so as when I was a, you know what the saying is, like, 
when I was a child, I thought as a child, but once I became a grown, yeah, grown yeah, up, yeah. I put my child was thinking about me or something like that. Now that I'm about to be 30 years old, bro, I would rather pay for a pussy. I don't want the hassle, bro. I don't want you to get on my nerves. I don't want you going and telling this person, that person. Yeah. I swear to God, I will pay. Instead of going to a date with you, $400 on a date, you can have this $400 and be fucked and be gone. Like, I don't need yeah. the time. But yeah. I, think, I think more so as we get older, I feel like we all pay for pussy unintentionally. What he's saying? No, I'm saying, no, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, saying I'm, it up I know what he's right. saying, but I'm speaking it as a nah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it, my I'm thing a, about it. I'm going to bring it about, like, we all pay for pussy. We pay for no cap. If I meet a female who just come over and give me the, the pussy with nothing, like, she didn't want to eat. She didn't want to get, like, gas money. She didn't want shit. I'm scared to fuck yeah, her. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm scared to fuck her. Nah. Yeah. You got to at least want to eat. You got at least want to get some food in your stomach. Damn, you, you got gotta, standards for me. Nah, nah, nah. nah I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah. I, I, so, so for me, I ain't gonna lie. I want to feel special. Like, you got to at least want to get drunk. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, because, like, if you come over and you just try to fuck. You trying to, you trying to Rick Ross? Nah, wait, I ain't. Nah, 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 How do we get to Rick Ross? That nigga said Molly, he said Molly in his champagne, she ain't even know it. You got at least want to drink. be intentional with the vibe. Let me say it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you just come over and we sober Sally in it and you like, let's fuck. I'm like, how many niggas you saying this to? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with the fake vibe. Like, I'm scary about that. Like, I'd rather take a girl out to dinner and like make, and like let, like, Food, dinner, we go to the hookah bar, something. I don't give a fuck. But that's like, what I'm saying. I'd rather spend some money, like, and like, just to catch a vibe, because I want to talk to you first. Yeah. If you want to come over and just get him pussy, you don't Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm kind of scared. So you want to you build a little rapport first? I want to yeah. build a little rapport. I'd rather, I mean, pay, I'd rather pay you. Well, well, a well, bit. well, I mean, honestly, I, I don't want to build a rapport. That's why I said, if, like, now, I swear on everything, I would pay. If I could, like, if my situation So you don't need that. You don't need that connection. You don't need that. Fuck no. You just need I'm the act. I'm good okay. off of that, bro. Like, on yeah, everything, no, like, no, no, no. I would pay every time, like, no. mm. And I got some old heads like this. Some old like, heads, the old heads, they, they just, yeah. hey, here go, baby, here go $700. I'm good. Get the pussy up, and we good. I'm good. You know like, yo, don't, like, because it come with too much. Like, you want to text me. You want to tweet. You want to, like, yo, like, yo, look. You don't know me. I would sign an NDA. Like, I don't, I ain't with none of that. Like, I don't want, like, I'm good off of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm straight. Okay. Yo, I was going to ask y'all not to make it too serious. No, go, no. go into it. I feel like, yo, having this conversation, you know, I feel like a lot of ladies and a lot of people might take this conversation differently. But we can have this conversation because we're men. Um, but to, to, to add some maturity to it, do you think our society really fucked our mind shape up as men as how we view women? And how can we get better at that? Because we see a lot of this Me Too movement yes. going on. And just being honest, you know, like, I, I'm sorry to, again, I'm sorry to go so super serious or whatever, but the Me Too movement is, 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 is hard to digest and it's hard to, like, pick a side for me because it's like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I know when I was in college, I had some wild days. I'm going to be straight up. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, it's, 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 it's like... I, like, I don't even know how to ask a question about it because, like, you know, like, I know I've had, like, some some wild nights and shit like that. And it's like, but like, where do we draw the line from thinking as a child, as a boy, to being an adult and having like some middle ground with it, if that makes sense. Like, if- Niggas need to be open-minded. Niggas need to lose the judgment and understand that other people have things too. Like what though? Like, I'm saying like, if you, if, <clears throat> if I go into a relationship with a girl. Outside of, not even really, I'm saying like, yeah, I'm just, I'm the just way saying. we treat women though. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, though, it, it just opens the conversation for us to let people talk. Mm. If you can do that and let people talk, we can get to know each other one on one and understand that. Like there's there should be no double standards. It should be all the same. We should be able to communicate the same with the woman, with the male. We should be able to have that. But we don't because society has made it this one way. So I'm not even talking about that. I'm cut straight to the point. I'm talking about like how women think. Um, Sexual assault, sexual harassment, things like that. Me right? too, movement. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking strictly about that. You feel me? Like I know, like, and I, and, and I think sometimes I might be too honest, but it is what it is. Like I feel like when I was a child, I did dumb shit, like talk to girls differently. You get what I'm saying? And I would hate for that to like creep up as an adult because I was a child. I didn't know any better, right? But I, I see it so much, and it's like. Some niggas are just creeps. Like some niggas is wild. Like right. niggas be rapey as fuck. Right. But to so the guy that might not have been that rapey, but there's so many women out there that's that's saying that he did something that wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I wonder where do we draw the line of of a nigga that's 
just super rapey or a nigga that just I, I just feel like I feel like as men we gotta change the um change as men, I'm taking accountability. As men, we need to change the way we manipulate. You know, we need to really focus on our manipulation. Because at the end of the day, like, we might not see it as manipulation, but we need to really just see, like, are we really manipulating this girl to do something that Facts. she really no has cap. to do? You know what I'm saying? And we no might cap. see that as game. Yeah. Might that we just talking shit. But Facts. at the end of the day, we could be really be manipulating this female. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I think we got to change the narrative all around. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, again, like, when I was coming up, you know, we grew up on rap music. You know what I'm saying? We grew up on, like, having sex with a lot of girls was a thing, right? And honestly, it's been times where I feel like I, I wish women can be more accountable for their actions as well, but we... We in a room full of men, so we can just only talk about our part. But I feel like it's been times where I've seen girls say, if I tell a nigga no, he better keep trying or some shit like that. I've seen, I've heard girls say that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if, if, if you come up and you, this is all you see and this is your reality, you're going to continue to try to push the line because you think that's normal. When it's not, I feel like as men, we got to continue to change the narrative and continue to reach back to our, our boys and our children and say, yo... No means no, point blank, period. But that's a tough situation. It's like there's it's just, no right answer to that. It's just, it's just because, all we can do is all we can do is to bring it back, take accountability. So let's just say what niggas don't do a lot. Niggas be knowing they boys be doing some of this shit. Mm. But instead of telling they boy, it can start there. Yo, hey, nigga, you, hey, you wilding right now. Yeah. Like, you kind of you, you being real creepy, my nigga. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Check they boys because. If you, if we stop it, then it's like, oh, the nigga know. Some right. niggas don't be knowing. Some niggas just but be I, I done had times it. when people have thought I was wild and when I wasn't, when a female really wanted that. So I feel like there's really no right answer. But I think so. And that's what I'm talking about. I, this is the conversation I kind of want to have because I feel like if you said it's been times when niggas might think you wild but you're not because the girl wanted that, right? She wanted it. She I really made the number. Nah, I feel, but I, I just feel like we got to change that. We got, even, like I said, in the conversation, open the conversation, I feel like women need to take accountability for this, but we can't talk about them because it's men in the room. We got to talk about each other. Even if a girl wants that, I feel like because of today's society, we got to understand where we are today. So basically, we got to say, just forget it because for, yeah, of this period. Society. You know what I'm saying? Like, because where we at today, like, she can act like she wanted and she can just turn around and say she, she didn't want it and she said no. And, and Like, I've had real situations where, like, my man, God bless, he had recorded a girl saying she wanted it or whatever, like she was trying to say he, she raped him, like he raped her, and he's like, yo, I got her on camera saying she wanted it. You feel know me saying? I feel like as men, we got to recognize where we at today. We have to understand, like, look, no means no point blank period. If you playing games, I ain't with them type of games. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got to reach back to our children, no, I like, like, yo. I like because that. I feel like coming up, yo, it wasn't that clear, honestly. And it's just, I, I'm just being real, looking at it going on, like the Me Too movement and like all these girls coming out, like, yo, damn, like, was it all these girls? But as, 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 as like, you don't want to, I don't want to be that man saying that she's lying either. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like as men, we got to hold each other accountable. Like you said, hold our friends accountable. When we see some shit going, some foul shit going on, my nigga, that ain't cool. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of niggas be scared though. Yeah. A lot of niggas be scared. But yeah, um, I feel like that, that, can, that can sum it no, up. No, I understand. I understand that. And that makes sense. <laughs> um, and that is a, a good point to moving forward, like, with us in this, in this generation and with moving forward, like, within the years, like, we... I take that, and I, and you know what I'm saying, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, because I just like I, it's it's hard seeing like all these black men just going down for the like you see uh what's it, Deshaun Watson uh the play for the Texans you know what I'm saying like people keep saying like Ti oh, and Tiny yeah Ti and Tiny facts it's like and, and and you don't know which side to pick because you don't want to just blame him for something that he didn't do right yeah, but you but you also don't want to take away from a, a woman experience if she really had because a lot of women have experience with a nigga trying to go too far you never want to take away from that. But it's like, I feel like as men, we got to do a better job at just like, yo, no means no, my nigga. Like, and if she ain't giving you the, the, the vibes, good. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that train shit as a child, like, you thought it was cool, but now when niggas is grown, that shit ain't cool. Like, to all my, my youngins, like, that shit ain't cool. And unless she say, yeah, I want two dicks at one time or three dicks at one time. Don't be doing none of that shit. Like, right. because, Are we trying to finesse it? Don't yeah, to, bro. Like, like, that shit is great. Trying to make the energy right. yeah. It's just, I wish... I, and I'm just being honest, and I feel like this is a hard conversation to have because it's kind of like self-indictment, honestly, right? Saying like, yeah, when I was a child, I did some wild shit, da-da-da. But I feel like more men have to be honest. Like, yo, like, this shit ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, like, all that trying to finesse shit, niggas tried that as kids. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we thought was okay. It's not okay. It's not. And it worked. But it's bad. It's bad, bro. Yeah. Like, it's bad. It's that's a, not yeah. cool, bro. It's like, a thin line. It's a real I, Like I said, line. I'm sorry for bringing them up.
Serious. Yeah, you just no, bring it, no, no. you just downy, downy, down, 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 down uh, on me. Like, I'm, I'm like, just saying, bro. Like, it gotta be sad. Hey, you gotta like, end with a message. Give me the cost of me, Fuck. Yeah, man. But now nah, I appreciate you guys, man. Jim and I Scorpio podcast episode sixty five. I know it ain't what you. I know it ain't what you guys used to seeing, but I wanted to just uh, appreciate the audience and appreciate the people that that's watching us every week. So I didn't want to leave you guys with uh, nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's been three weeks. Uh, I didn't want to make it an entire month, so I definitely apologize. Um, please be patient with us. Uh, like I said. It's just real life, you know? Um, so we still a team, we still a family. I ain't gonna speak too much on it because it is what it is. Uh, but just, 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 just hold us down. We still together, we still a family, we still tight. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 65. Thanks to Lonnie, thanks to Holly. If y'all wanna plug yourselves, tell them where to follow you and all that shit. Hey, Comedian Lonnie. No, 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 not even Comedian Lonnie. Fenarios, everything. Yeah, Fenarios popping. F-U-N-A-R-I-O-S. Yeah, Instagram, Big Holly underscore MDV. Um, yeah, that's it. Appreciate you guys again, man. Nah, I appreciate you for sure. For sure. Jim and I, Scorpio Podcast, episode 65. Until next time.